Welcome back, everyone. It's a standard match on Northwest, and I am in my KV-13 Russian medium tank. And I've actually been playing this tank a fair amount because I'm trying to work my way down to, I think it's going to be the Object 140. But rather than start all the way down at the bottom of the Russian medium line, I'm taking a shortcut from my Russian heavies the through the KV-13 to get there. Overall, I find this a, a rather pleasing tank to play. It's not... I feel like my, my play style, I've had to adapt somewhat to it because this sucker does have a terrible lack of gun depression, having a mere 5 degrees of depression. Uh, no, sure, there's a lot of times when I will find myself trying to go for shots that I could have easily have made in any of my American tanks. And the KV-13 goes, Nope, gun depression not found. You do not get to have this shot. But this tank does have a lot of good advantage to go with it. First of all, it's actually very mobile. It's uh, quite fast. It's also got actually fairly respectable armor. It's actually almost as good as a heavy tank's armor. The gun is occasionally a little bit of a letdown. It's it's you know, there's gotta be a couple of drawbacks to the tank to keep it kind of balanced. But it's not horrible. It's got a very good rate of fire, it's got decent damage, it's got decent penetration. Its accuracy is a little meh. But you know, you know gotta be some drawbacks to keep the game fair. The game after all. But you can see I am Leading the charge here I'm on the north side of my KV-13, I really was expecting to make contact right about here or so. I don't see any signs of anyone, so I just keep running going. Oh, no one there. No one seems to be shooting at me. There's no one even back up here in the corner. I was curious. Whatever, keep hugging cover. Keep expecting any moment to actually stumble across a IS tank or something. No, there's nothing here. Alright, well, if there's nothing here, I'll just keep right on going. Hope I don't actually wander in like a multiple tank destroyer ambush or something up here. Well, frankly, if there's any tank that can probably take a multiple tank destroyer ambush and maybe survive it, it's this one because I do have the armor to bounce some shots. Oh, there's one. SG-122-44, very dangerous. You can see he's seen me because he instantly spins around. Twain his gun is thre at the threatening KV-13. I decide to stop and wait, let my uh, allies who are following me catch up. When I see he's starting to fall back, I pop out for a shot, but he's close enough to the cliff edge that we can't quite catch him. But that's okay. That means he's just surrendering ground, and allow that allows us to advance even closer to their base. Any better, we might be able to get some back shots at these guys. Yeah, he's running away. Nope, nothing there. Continue the advance. Looking for shots on something, anything really at this point. Oh, there he goes. Very fortunate shot there, there to get that. Spot a Dicker Max who's not paying as much attention. Start pouring shells into him. And check out this rate of fire. It's not the T-49, but it hits considerably harder. Alright. Medium pack of mediums and tank destroyers here. Quickly overwhelm the uh, unfortunate Dicker Max. Now I'm looking for that SU-12244 again. He was just over here. There he is. Proxy spot by the VKD. Well, that's fine. I'll just come down here and flank him, because that's really what mediums are for. Oh, very lucky shot in the move. That's not typical. Finish off the SU-12244. Oh, taking fire from the flank. Ow. Need that engine. Put a shot into him. Continue racing towards the base, and then come back around here to try and give some support fire. But upon seeing, that's just a T-49, and he's got a T-49 and a T-52, T-20-2 hunting him, I'd say to myself, he can probably handle that. Ooh, KV-2, that's a different kettle of fish. Even on low health, he's cap quick, more than capable of potentially one-shotting my tank at any health level. But I can see my team is winning this reasonably handily. Oh, look, there's the artillery, found him. Put him out of his misery real quick. 
and roll onto the cap circle to start the cap. At this point, it looks like we're, we're up by a couple tanks. The enemy team has made it to our base, but I've made it to their base. Since the nearest enemy tank I know of is a KV-2. I'm actually going to hide behind this debris right here. Um, eventually. To try and deflect his high explosive rounds, because they'll detonate if they hit any of that garbage. I'd much rather hit the garbage and detonate than hit me and detonate, because that would be very, very painful. A friendly M41 has come running from our base all the way to uh, come here and try and help us cap. And that's when the games began. Oh, look. KV-2. Bounce. Oops. Whoa, okay. Well, got lucky right there. Now, what I should do right here is just surrender the cap points, go charging out there, and kill the KV-2. But I keep thinking I can penetrate his turret. He's, he's taking aim. He wants to be sure he'll get the reset. And suddenly the gun that was being so accurate all the time earlier has decided it's time for me to be trolled. So I start to moving everywhere, trying to make it so this KV-2 has a hard target as possible. And the M41 takes him down. That's actually uh, only the, the one and only shot the M41 actually lands the entire battle. And yet, I dare say that was the winning shot of the battle. It allows me to pull up an invader and finish the game by capping it out. And as a result, even though he got one of the worst scores in the team, I have to say that I think he's actually the one uh, who guaranteed that we were going to win it. Well, him and me to a slightly lesser degree, since I was the one gaining all the capture points and keeping the KV-2's attention. Uh, I kind of wish I'd be able to penetrate with some of those, those hits, but KV-2 armor surprisingly tough at moments. Hope you all enjoyed it. Good game, and good night.